Hello everyone, so today I'm going to give you an overview of Skip.Tools which is going to help you to generate an Android build from your Xcode. So uh, the logic is basically this tool, Skip.Tools, help you to generate Jetpack Compose code using your Swift code, Swift UI code basically. So um, you can check out the website from the link that I'm showing you on the screen. It has some amazing features. Uh, your Android code is going to be independent as well. You can also open it in Android Studio. So there, these are some of the tabs that I'm exploring here. So you can evaluate it. You can see the pricing as well. There is a free tier which you can use if you are an indie developer. You can compare it with some other tools that generate cross-platform code. You can go through the docs to understand how you are going to basically technically use it to generate the Android build using your Xcode. So in tour, they have some amazing videos that are going to show you how you can create an Android build from Swift UI code. It does not support most of the features of UI kit. And then there are a lot of core frameworks that are supported by it. You can go through it. Here, this is the getting started guide. So I have already installed Skip on my machine. And next I'm going to show you this command skip checkup to show you that the installation is perfectly done and it is going to take some time. The skip installation is going to take almost half an hour to 45 minutes depending upon your machine specifications as well as your internet download speed. So go through all of these steps to download skip and activate it using a license you get a free evaluation license for one month and then you need to upgrade it either to a free tier which is basically for the independent developers otherwise you can check the other two tiers and explore the different features that are offered by those so you can create a cross-platform app in multiple ways you can also use cross-platform packages in your app and create independent Swift UI code as well as the Kotlin code on separate platforms. You can also generate the Kotlin code from directly the Swift UI code and you can open that project inside your Android Studio. So these are the code frameworks that are supported by Swift UI. It shows the Bluetooth FFI keychain skip kit which helps for the camera and media selection you can go through all of the list of the features that are supported by skip.tools from ios 16 onwards it supports most of the crucial and important features that are required for your app in case a feature is missing you can write the alternative kotlin code as well so this is the output of the skip checkup command it is going to take some time almost 10 to 15 minutes to complete So the skip checkup command is completed with some warnings, but there are no errors. So it means that our installation is done properly. Next, I'm going to run this command and I'm going to show you how I can port my Flipboard code that I have already shown you inside a video. I'm also going to post the link of that video inside the description box. I'm going to convert that code into Android compatible code and then I'm going to run it on an Android emulator using Genai Motion. So here I am going to show you some of the steps how I am going to use this code to in, inside a skip.tools project. So this is a simple flip uh, board mock project which I have already shown you with thorough steps inside another video. So this is my skip project, the flipboard skip project. And what I am going to do here is basically I have different kind of folders here. The Android folder is for the Android specific files. Darwin is for the iOS specific files. And sources is basically all of our collective common Swift UI code. Also, the project building and setup is going to take some time. So be patient with it. So I have played the code and this is the Flipboard code on the iOS emulator on the left hand side. So I'm going to wait for this project to build because it is going to download some of the default dependencies 
which you can see on the left hand side the skip skip foundation skip lib model ui and skip unit which is basically an alternative for the testing purposes so it has produced an error normally this error does not occur but with some configuration inside my folder it is creating some issue so first i'm going to reset the packages you can also basically clean build the project or close the project and open it to reset the package fetching so the next step is basically to go through these errors it is causing some issue inside the derived holder you can either remove that folder or you can do the build clean step and let's see how it turns out hopefully it is going to be built after these steps and the build is successful and this is the default output that is being shown so you have seen a simple ui that is already supported by the default template of skip.tools project so here now i am going to start adding the code these are the folders that i have already discussed inside the flipboard skip folder i am now going to paste all of the code so this is the content view i am going to remove the code from the content view and i am going to paste all of the code inside my content view of flipboard app to here so it is going to give you some errors so this is basically the file the that has a main entry point which i have copied from my flipboard project so i am commenting out that file now there are will be some unsupported functions and aspects of your project that you need to comment out and write alternative supportive code either in swift ui or in kotlin so here i'm fixing those errors look at these errors and fix them one by one in case of a larger project the number of errors would be a lot it is a tedious process but obviously it is going to help you with the project in few in your future builds that you are going to just maintain one code base and that is going to create two type of builds for you so here i am fixing those errors so here is an issue with the tuple which is basically the type here so i am just going to add 0 0.0 to the value of x y and z which is going to then read it as a double value all of the errors that are going to be fixed are then grayed out on your error and warnings screen so the only error that is left is basically the encode override nothing which is going to lead us here so initially i have changed the name of the data because data is used at a lot of places inside my code so i have renamed it from data to sample data so fix the issue with the name of data everywhere in the project still it's failed so we need to clean build and the error will be gone because this error has nothing to do with our data type i'm talking about the encode error so there might be some absurd errors if you see that the code seems perfectly fine and it has a support for skip and still it is giving you the error do the step of clean build so all of the errors looks like they are fixed and next we are going to run this build onto our iphone simulator as well as android emulator that i have already launched make sure you have the android emulator running while running the code so you have seen here that the data is loaded but the images are not being loaded for images we need to do one extra step because it does not pick up the images from the default assets folder so we need to go through this resources folder and add the all of the assets inside this module.exe assets i'm also renaming it as assets.exe assets i'm going to copy all of the images from my main flipboard project to this skip project so you can also copy the content.json file here as well which is going to contain all of the information click on the images and you are going to see that the images are properly loaded inside your explorer 
after that you have seen here that the images are being loaded on the android platform but not on our ios platform so let's see what is the issue here and fix it for our ios platform we need to basically go through the documentation to see that how images are being loaded inside swift ui for our skip project so this is how the images are basically shown here but when you go into the documentation they have set here that this is the way to load image so i am going to copy that way here we are going to provide it with a name and a bundle so we are going to copy this logic everywhere inside the code wherever an image is, is being loaded so there are four or five places that need a replacement of code after that i am going to run it and see that if it works we are not updating the images that are picked from the system name or the sf symbols library so now the images are being loaded and the ios build is just perfect now we are going to move on the issues with the alignment of the ui elements onto a android emulator so for that we need to adjust the code and see fix all of the limitations inside the swift ui code for kotlin conversion So this is the image view that needs some adjustment so we are going to try here different things i'm going to show you here how you can go around and fix this issue so frame is something that is going to limit the height of our image view so here this is the default way that i used to contain an image inside a frame And let's see if it generates any error or not so the ui looks pretty much the same and the issue is basically that the ui screen is not supported so here i am going to use the geometry reader now so you have seen here how i have adjusted the geometry reader and the frame height inside a variable using the geometry size height on line number 28 after that i'm going to adjust the background of the text that is being shown on the image and now i'm going to play the code you are going to see that the hashtag value on the image is being displayed with a red background which is not visible here so i'm going to play around with the this part of the code which is this dot background line number 22 So here I'm going to search the option of dot background and from the code I'm going to copy it the part of the background code that is going to set the color into my main code and adjust the values accordingly. So this is the background code that I'm going to use here. I'm going to copy paste it here. And see that if the red fill color is now working fine on our android build or not so here i'm pasting the code and next i'm going to make the necessary changes to the code and see if it works fine on both the platforms so let's play the code So it seems that now it's working so we have the perfect background color on both of the platforms now the issue is with the alignment of that box that contains the hashtag so i need to adjust it i have played around with different paddings and the alignment and i was not able to get it but i'm going to show you the final version of the code that helped me to adjust this space hashtag So the padding is not working the alignment of padding is not working let's see what else we can change inside the code so next i'm adjusting the z stack alignment to leading so it has changed the position here and next i'm going to add this text inside a v stack with some spaces on the top to push this v stack on the bottom of the image 
So this is working on Android and iOS as well. So you have to play around with the code to make it compatible with both the platforms. And now I'm scrolling on both of the screens and you are going to see that the output is generated perfectly. So this is how you are going to create an Android build from your Xcode. And after that, you can simply create an APK by following the steps in the documentation of skip.tools. I hope this tool is going to be helpful for you in creation of the Android build. If there are any questions, post in the comment section. There are some limitations for the code. You can check out all of those inside the documentation as well. Do not forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.